I pray that I say this as long as I'm coaching. Every game is important to me because you can't take them for granted. I mean, I, I was just watching the game, West Virginia and Kent State. I mean, it's tough. So you, you can't walk in a game situation thinking two or three games ahead. I mean, the most important game for us is tomorrow, and we have to do everything in our power to win that game. You know, the first three games, I think, were good games from the standpoint of what we needed. Once again, Carson knew my, I would have hated play play against his own, but it was the best thing for us. The second game, uh, they were really good as far as getting the ball inside, running the ball screens, attacking and making shots. Then in the last game, I thought it was a case of they did a good job of rebounding. We knew that coming into the game when you talk to the opponents in the league, they're a really good rebounding team, and they did a good job of it. And I thought we did a poor job of boxing out. But they do have the reputation of being a good rebounding team. And I think tomorrow they probably run a good motion style offense with a lot of pass, I mean, pass cuts, slips to the baskets, different type of screens. So you really have to be able to jump to the ball against that opponent tomorrow because they do a good job of slipping to the basket. They get easy layups. For me as a coach, as an assistant coach, it was truly going to the gym, you know, whether it was practice, game time, going back and watching film. You eat dinner and watch film. And that was the next day, the same thing. Maybe the first day or so, I think the players might have went out. But, you know, for us as a staff, you, you, you're watching film. If you're not playing, then the next opponent you might play. So you're watching game film. You're studying those guys when they're playing live. And it's on to the next day, really. So, so for me, I don't necessarily consider it a vacation. Uh, it's just... For us, it's, it's all business. But I think the first couple of days, our, our guys will get out and do something. We'll try to do something. But after that, it's time to work. Well, well I think re regardless of what happens uh, in, in Maui, how we play, how we compete, I think our guys are competing. Now, whether the outcome, who knows? I think the bigger gauge for our guys is when you play against opponents, not necessarily with a bigger name because the approach is different. You, you go to, to Maui with a sense of nervousness, uh, uh, hesitancy, somewhat scared, so to speak. And I, I was always, regardless of how I played and who we played against, I always had a level of nervousness to me because I wanted to be prepared, not necessarily who the opponent was, but I think our guys would be ready to play from that standpoint. Because the last thing you want to do as a player is to think that you can get blown out of a game. So you focused in a lot of areas to be successful. Uh, but I think for our guys, it's the opponent that doesn't have big name players uh, or not big name programs, so to speak. Those are the ones you have to really be ready for. Now it's getting them up to play and understand that you can get beat by this team.